hey everybody, backyard scrapping here. Um, I was just doing a little bit of work at my bench inside, and I figured I would show you all what I'm doing. And what this is, is I got my hands on some silver scrap, and while I was doing this, I was thinking about something, and maybe that a lot of people don't know or understand, but a lot of times when you buy that, or say you find it at a yard sale or on eBay, this is actually hollow. In other words, they are filled, if you can see that. It'll say sterling on it and everything, but it also says weighted. I don't, I don't know if you can see that, if this is coming into focus very good or not. But anyway, I know that most of y'all know that there's about the stuff being weighted and what, but maybe what what I was finding interesting is the different thicknesses of the material. Now this I bought some time ago. I was, you know, thought I was getting a really good deal because it was heavy and it said sterling and it was weighted, but I just want to quickly show you something. Now it's already been gutted. This one happened to be full of like a plaster type material or whatever. But now you'd think when you pick this up and it's smooth and solid, I mean, it feels like, oh man, I got me a fortune. You know, I got a, some good stuff here, but I want to just show you. There's literally nothing to it when you take it apart. This thing weighed probably, I don't know, three quarters of a pound, half pound. And there's literally only 18 grams of sterling silver there. But what I wanted to talk about before we get into processing this stuff is the thickness of some of this hollow stuff because you got to kind of take into consideration that different materials are going to be different thicknesses for an example here we have a piece of a candlestick that literally is just like paper I mean and you can just cut it with scissors I mean there's nothing to it it's like paper now this was also a piece of hollow but look can't hardly even bend it. So when you're buying your hollow material to process or to recover or for investment, you got to take into consideration that there are going to be different thicknesses of this plating. See this here, this one is kind of a medium. It's not paper thin, but it's not as hard as this either. And I just wanted to go over that, like this knife handle for example. You know, these you know they sometimes they have lead in them this one obviously had a little bit of lead and it also had plaster inside but it's very thick like this piece so I just kinda wanted to do that show you all this before I cut this stuff up and our next video is going to be about processing this material and taking it from sterling silver thin sterling silver and going all the way through the process of refining it to pure silver and then pouring some pure silver bars out of it but it's going to be several different videos I believe and anyway I just wanted to show you again here we have something that's a salt shaker now the inside of this naturally where the salt goes this is a little bit thicker piece but the base is again hollow so just because you pick it up and it feels like it's really good sometimes it is really good like this piece I mean, that's a nice, solid piece. That probably weighs as much as all these bases, probably all that together, just this one piece. But you can see how thick it is and how solid it is. Alrighty, so I just wanted to go over that real quick. I'm going to cut this stuff up, and then we'll be making some videos on processing it. Y'all have a good one.